Happy Friday, everybody. Hope everyone's having a good day here. Hope we're gonna have a busy night tonight. New product in stock. Leaf mini helmets are in. MT Baseball has seven left. Try to get that gem mint filled. Plus, we still have that baseball mixer that I would love to get some movement on. Plenty of the oldies but goodies still available as well. Triple threads, gold label trinity, and about two dozen other products. Go take a look. Uh, link is in the chat. So let's get something going tonight, guys. Hey, Addison, what's up, man? We, we discussed it briefly on Wednesday, but not not to a huge degree. Hey, Tim. It was, it was, it was more of a... Any discussion we had on Wednesday was more of a... Um neutral stance discussion of the whole process as opposed to nah you're stupid no you're stupid which is 95 percent of comment sections right now and it's usually worse than that With that being said, hi, Matt. I remember, I remember, I don't, I don't know if I said I specifically was going to vote for somebody, but I said I was going to change myself to the pink party. Or I was going to steal green away from green. And, uh... I said, I'll, I'll take either one. I'll take your name and you pick a different one. I don't care. I just want, I just want a color. That's all I want.
I don't have to worry about it. There, there's, there's two other people with my name, and they're both related to me, so I don't have to worry about it. Trying to get some stuff filled tonight, guys. Seven left in National Treasures Baseball. Nine in Gem Mint. Nine in the Mixer. Plus, we got Leaf Helmets in stock. I even have it available by the case, if anyone wants a case. Message me for details or email me or whatever. I feel like I've seen your first name as a last name before, but I can't recall seeing anybody with your first name either. My wife has a unique first name too, so kind of got we've kind of gotten used to it at this point. Completely forgot about that. Either one. Go with the Hershey's joke or the Yamash joke. You can go with either one. I mean, other than a, a small stint in, uh, in New Mexico, I've been in Pennsylvania my whole life, so. Yeah, isn't it? I think everyone has. It's it's not when I say I'm in Montgomery County, PA now, people are actually gonna know where I live. It's kind of weird. I've been down there a few times. You're definitely right. You're right. You're in you're at ground zero right there.
Taking those orders, guys. Hoping to get something going tonight. Go check everything out. There's lots of cool stuff up there. Yeah, stores in Lancaster, antique stores in Lancaster aren't antique stores. They're just stores. <clears throat> and then your, you know, your Rite Aids, they're the future stores. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, Coopersburg, Allentown, anything Lehigh Valley-ish, I would, I've probably, I've probably been there. <laughs> It was it was a good combination of both. Um, literally, I, I can I'll you know I don't even care anymore. I'll give you the I'll give you the info. I went unfortunately before they had a business school. Otherwise, I would have stayed. I left because they didn't have a business program. Um, Dynasty. You know, in a, in a in the normal universe, because right now I, I'm convinced that we're living in some parallel one. Um, MSRP on Dynasty would have been 300 a box. The lowest I was offered Dynasty was four and a quarter. Now I can get it at around 400 a box if I want to buy it, and I didn't. I don't have the people right now that I know of. That would pay four fifty ish for a box of Dynasty. So I didn't want to be sitting on a case of Dynasty when everything else is kind of moving slowly. You know what I mean? So it, it just it no one no one was even close to offering me. And the four twenty five wasn't for a sealed case either. That was by the box. Um, the only people that were offering me sealed cases were blowout. And you see what their prices are at the moment. Same deal with, um, what do you call it? Um, it's got same deal is going on right now with Bowman Draft. And... Uh, clearly, Donner's basketball. I was offered both at insane prices, but I obviously couldn't do it.
Oh, Pr Prism is the one now. I mean, it's Prism in football and basketball, and baseball is for some reason flagship, but the Chrome, Chrome is right there too. And obviously, Bowman for prospects. But, uh, yeah, I, I can hardly get allocated anything for football. Um, unless it's Leaf. Leaf I can get. Um, and I'm getting, I'm able to get secondarily probably a half, a half to a case of most football products. But there's some like Mosaic and Prism. Um, Immaculate that I don't know if it's even going to make financial sense to grab any. I'm going to see what I can do, but I need the customer base to do it. And I just, they're not coming back in. I think it, I think it's mostly COVID related. I, I'm, I'm noticing a lot of names that I'm not seeing anymore that I'm not seeing anywhere. And I think a lot of people are just running out of extra money. Cause let's, let's be honest. This isn't a, uh, an essential purchase. So, you know, luxury kind of things, you know, extra collect like collectibles are going to be the first to drop. The singles market's still going pretty decently strong, but at least my group of customers, it seems to be hitting my group pretty hard. So obviously not what I want to hear, but uh, that's life. <laughs> so I'm um, trying to make do as best I can. So I'm trying to offer you guys stuff at better prices. I know I'm way under most people with triple threads, um, NT Baseball, Trinity. Uh, if I can if I can cut a few bucks off to help you guys out, I'm trying to do it, but I'm not seeing the I'm not seeing the results from that. So hopefully that starts improving over the next little bit. Because uh, obviously uh, this won't survive with two orders a week. <laughs> So that's a little bit of a problem. Let's see if we can get some stuff going tonight, guys. It's about 20 after. Would love to get a couple boxes broken, maybe a group break filled. I've got Leaf Best Gemin up there, Leaf Mini Helmets, Triple Threads, NT Baseball. I've got that Baseball Mixer. 19NT Collegiate Football is up there. There's a lot of stuff to choose from right now. So hopefully we can get something going tonight. I still have plenty of stuff for personal breaks as well. I was looking for an old tiny word. Post haste was the best I could come up with. W words is hard. <laughs> But I can read good. I know what I'm doing. 20 after 9, guys.
the tops really kind of screwed up. Uh, today was the, uh, the the data for 582 club members to renew. And it looks like there was a loophole on the app. Not on the actual site itself, just the app or the mobile site um, that was letting non-members buy a new membership. And it looks like it took probably put whatever stock was left of the renews that didn't, you know, check out yet. And they got their memberships instead. So I'm wondering how they're going to deal with that. They screwed up a lot of things. <laughs> It just seems like everything everywhere, not just in cards, everything everywhere is is stupidly insane. And it, it really feels like it's not real. It really does. I mean, this could also just be me going insane. But, it, you know, it, it, just, it just seems like everything is, is just wrong right now. Nothing is going as intended. I just, you know, I figured I figured this would be the good year to, to do it. The 
worst possible year of all of them. <laughs> I mean, it was the best possible year for about, what, four months. And then I was like, oh, this is great. And then it's like, oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's amazing to see the, the curve. Like, January, February was pretty good, and then it, March it kind of plateaued out, and it was like, okay, I'm no longer new, but I got to build up customer base. And then April, May, June, um, you know, was, was pretty good, high watermark. We were building, we were getting better. Then July kind of evened out, and then we started to hit the downhill of the roller coaster, and now we're just careening out of control. So, well, I know that, and, and I'm, you're not the only one in that boat, I'm sure. Um, but it, it's an obvious, you know, it, it's an obvious downhill, downhill huge curve beginning of September-ish. Where not only did I see people ordering less, but I saw less people. That's when traffic and viewership started going down even when I was getting new products still. Like, the new product run hadn't really, you know, gone out yet. Now it's harder to get product, and I have less people. <laughs> so I got problems everywhere now. But it was, it was, you could honestly start seeing the decline in September. October wasn't great, and, you know, it's, it's starting to even out again, but we're kind of at the bottom anyway. Like, today's actually a decently... Um, good traffic day, and by normal means, this would be a really bad day. So, it, it's weird to think about it that way. But, I mean, it's half trying to start a new business and trying to, you know, get people to come in, and it's half, you know, COVID and you know, election uncertainty and, you know, everything that's going on. That's now, I think, the, uh, the major issue. But I'm still going to advertise as much as I have been. I'm still going to try to stream as much as possible. But, you know, it's tough to stay on when it's 1030 and you got four people in the room. It, it's, you know, there's not really any momentum. I will be doing some huge markdowns, I think, starting next week. I mean, like I said, I have a ton of stuff here that I really thought I would be, you know, completely wiped out of. I, I still have three boxes left, both from the original, my original purchase of Bowman Sterling and Museum. I mean, I, I got through the first half of the cases pretty easily for both, but that slowed down. I just ran out of Chrome Jumbo. I have one box of Hobby left. 
Um, gold Label's kind of been going. Chronicles Baseball never took off. I really thought that was going to go. Um, Trinity Football wasn't that popular. But, I mean, I did have a couple that were pretty popular. You know what I mean? It just, it, some stuff just didn't take off. And some stuff came out, you know, in the last month or two, and that's been hard to move. I mean, I got super lucky with Topps Chrome because I got I got a case of Hobby and a case of Jumbo. What, like I said, I know people that ordered ten cases of each and they got four boxes of each. So I was super fortunate to get the Chrome that I got because I'm down to I have one I have one lonely Hobby box left, but. Um, I was super lucky to even get what I got. Same with uh, with triple threads. I got pretty lucky. I got two master cases of that, um, and I will have the uh, the trifecta of Stadium Club Chrome, Allen and Ginter Chrome, and Topps Chrome Black. I have a bunch of all three of those coming in late November, early December. After that, it kind of gets murky as to how much I'm going to get of stuff past those products. Um, as far as Tops and Panini go, Leaf, I usually get a case of each new product. But Tops and Panini, it's hit or miss. But Chrome Black should be a lot of fun. I'm actually, I think I'm getting three cases of that. Uh, let me check. That's not my pre-orders. That's my pre -orders. Yeah, I have Artifacts Hockey. I have a 10 box case coming when that finally comes out. In the game, use sports will be fun. Um, Leaf Metal Baseball. Yeah, I have two cases of Allen Ginter Chrome coming, two cases of Stadium Club Chrome, and three cases of Chrome Black. So all of those are pre ordered, but like I said, after that, it gets murky. I'm not too sure after that what, uh, what I'm going to have. Like I said, I got one box of NT Baseball. Um, I got one Gem Mint. Those have been slow filling. So I'm actually kind of glad I didn't go too heavy on either of those. I thought they were going to go a little faster as well. I mean, with them pushing all the rookies to 2021, which, by the way, 2021 class, completely loaded. Um, I mean, a Rosarine and a Rays uniform and Devin Williams are your chases right now. That's not a $200 a box jumbo product. That should be, you know, like it used to be. But we're not going to... It used to be kind of sounds like, you know, in the past, really seems like in the past kind of wording now. It's going to be years before it gets back to normal, if it does. In all honesty, the, with the way things are going, parallels and base are uh, are better than most of the hits. I don't even think there were many good hits uh, names in the uh, 
in the update checklist. I don't think a lot of the big rookies had uh, regular autos. So I remember looking at the checklist and thinking, wow, this is, they, they really knew they didn't have to put anything in this. And the odds, by the way, are astronomically bad. They cut everybody, but production is up like 60%. So somebody's got a whole bunch of this that they're holding on to. I don't know who it is, but somebody's got a bunch. A Rose Arena by far is the best car in the product. And let's be honest, uh, a month ago, you know, a month and a half ago, he wasn't. Of course, cardboard connection is down. Yeah, the jersey autos aren't bad. Yeah, think about it. Anyone that debuted this year is going to have a rookie next year. So, Joe Adele, Alec Bohm, um, Garrett Cro uh, Crochet, or whatever his name is, for the White Sox. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go through the the names right now in my head of who people are gonna be in there, but it's it's gonna be loaded. Well, series they'll hold some, but the, I think the majority are gonna be in series one because there's gonna be people that come up next year, you know, out of spring training that you're gonna want to put in series two. So I think the majority will be in Series 1. And then you'll see some hold over to Series 2. And then your call-ups next year, your Kellenics, your Francos, um, you know, all of them, they're going to be... They're going to be Series 2. I'm trying to... There's a... I'm trying to look for the... Uh, I had a list going. Bowen Platinum, you might be able to. Around me, um, no. <laughs> I mean, the answer is just no. Everything gets wiped out, even wrestling. Uh, everyone's just buying everything. Here we go. So here's the people you're probably going to see next year for rookie cards. I mean, take a look at this list. It's a ridiculous list of great names. Christian Javier, Jake Cronenworth, um, Nate Pearson, Nick Madrigal, Joe Adele, um, 
Spencer Howard, Alec Bohm, Jorge Mateo, Luis Garcia, Dylan Carlson, Lewin Diaz, Kabert Ruiz, Tarek Skubal, Christian Pache, Casey Mize, Dane Dunning, Joey Bart, Sixto Sanchez, Ryan Mountcastle, Tristan McKenzie, Ian Anderson, Estevan Floreal, Debbie Garcia, <clears throat> um, Sam Huff, Alejandro Kirk, Tanner Houck, Mickey Moniak, Garrett Crochet, Adonis Medina, Braylon Marquez. All could have rookies next year. And that's not counting your Francos, your Kellenics that could debut next year. They're all going to probably have rookies next year. And that's not counting other people like Foster Griffin, Brady Singer, um, that were 50-50s of maybe being um, later this year in like a Bowman's Best kind of scenario. Although I don't see that happening. But that's just a... There's much more. I bet you there's 50, 60, 70 rookies in Series 1. Decent players, too. Like we're not talking filler. Like I said, I skipped over some names that I didn't really recognize, but they'll have cards. Those are just the top ones. I mean, I skipped over Bobby Dahlbeck. Um, I skipped over Cabrian Hayes. I skipped over Jazz Chisholm. So I skipped over a couple. I, I literally, I called this back when it happened. I remember us talking about it in, you know, in the th in the, in the chat too. I knew they were just going to hire somebody for the year and bring them back next year because it'll have all died down by then. And sure enough, Remember, he can't be in anything MLB affiliated either. That's why he doesn't have any tops cards. That's why it was such a big deal when he was mistakenly on that decades, that you know, the decades best card. That was such a big deal. Yeah, he can't. The Tops does not have uh, the rights to Pete Rose because he can't be in anything with an MLB logo.
I think Panini, um, well, Panini has the Players Association's license. Um, but I think they tiptoe around it, too, as much as possible. You don't usually see him too much. But, because I think they're trying to stand on the right side of MLB in case they can run for that license again. But Topps absolutely is not allowed to. Because, you know, they're the, you know, the official card of Major League Baseball. So, MLB rules follow right into Topps rules as, as well. Like, Topps doesn't have supreme ultimate call on who, you know, gets rookie cards and who doesn't. MLB still has a say in that to a degree. Um, like, they can say, they made a special exception for Otani in, what was it, 2018, for him to be in Series 1. Um, or for him to be in Heritage, actually, I think it was, before the season started, because you can't appear in one of their official Major League sets until you've appeared in a Major League game. Yeah, any anyone banned from baseball for life, Shoeless Joe, that's why you've never seen any Shoeless Joe cards. Now, I think there's one or two players um, that haven't been technically lifetime banned, but they were, they, they got three, uh, yeah, they got play banned because of three positive steroid tests or, you know, PED tests. Um, I don't think it, any of them were, you know, reliable enough players anyway. But there's a reason you haven't seen many Sosa cards recently. He finally just started uh, signing some stuff. Um, yeah, you didn't see too much A Rod stuff for a while. Tops tries to kind of stay on MLB's side when it comes to you know PED kind of stuff. Barry Bonds doesn't give his rights out for anything. That's why you've barely seen any Barry Bonds stuff as well. It happens, but not very often. But that's not new. He. Uh, notoriously um, did not like having his rights and stuff. That's why he never saw him in baseball games, um, video games, or anything like that. I, I remember seeing an interview. I thought I thought it was a combination of the two. Um, that he said he bleaches his skin and he has that, uh, you know, a skin issue. But yeah, he, he, he looks drastically different. It is interesting. I really didn't think, you know, going over his statistics, you know, his lifetime statistics at least, um... I really didn't think he had that many home runs. For some reason, I just, I just, you know, I looked over it. But he, I mean, he played for six for eighteen years, and I didn't even realize. I mean, how much of that was steroid related? Probably, of, of everyone that took steroids, he probably benefited the most. I mean, he had a couple years when he was younger that he hit 30, but it was pretty obvious that starting in 98, he was, you know, he was roiding it up.
I mean, that chase was iconic. Still taking orders, guys. Hoping to get something in here. I mean, it's just it's it's super obvious now, but for some reason we just all overlooked it. I think back then. Still taking orders, guys. Hoping to get something in here. Tons of stuff available here, guys. 7 in NT, 9 in the mixer, 9 in gym mix. Closing in on 10 o'clock Eastern. Have a good one, Tim. Still hoping to get an order in here. Hitting about 10 o'clock.
just hitting 10 o'clock. We got something in here. Hello, Matt. Oh, see, we were talking about it. You had to get it. All right, my last box of Chrome coming up for Matt. It's really creeping me out that my other computer keeps randomly turning on behind me, but that's fine. That Halloween net was last week. Good luck. Let's see what we can get for you. All right, live break coming up here for Matt doing my last box of 2020 Tops Chrome Hobby. Two autos, bunch of baits, hopefully some nice parallels. And inserts got a bunch of stuff up on the site. Go check it out. Link is always in the chat. Maybe some Rosa Rain in here, some Luis Robert, maybe some Kyle Lewis, some Bo Bichette. There's a bunch of names to chase in this year's products, and some pieces of cardboard. We don't need those. All right, let's start this off here. Good luck to you. Starting off with Refractor, Noah Syndergaard. We've got Insert, Eloy Jimenez, Austin Nola, Rookie. We've got Autograph, Wrong Cardinal, unfortunately, Rangel, Ranhel Ravello for the Cardinals. Base autograph. Joey Gallo base. Next up here, Refractor Brandon Belt. Got a green. That's not a bad name. Shohei Otani. Green Refractor for the Angels. That one is 25 of 99. Nice Otani Green. Vlad Jr. Future Stars. Got a Prism Refractor, Ian Desmond. Eloy Jimenez Future Stars, Paddock Refractor. Gavin Lux, 1985 rookie. Um, it sounds like he's going to get the starting job next year. Looks like Kiki Hernandez is on his way out. And here we've got, that's a good auto. There you go, Kyle Lewis, rookie base auto for the Mariners. Been a long time since we had a good auto in the uh, hobby boxes. That one definitely counts. Nice, Kyle Lewis, base auto plus a Randy Rosarena base rookie. Same pack. That works. Kingery Refractor. Nico Horner Rookie. Regular base in that pack. We've got 
Prism Refractor, Luis Urias, Brew Crew. We've got Domingo Leyba Refractor Rookie. Uh, Reese Hoskins, 85. Mike Yastrzemski, Future Stars. More regular base, Tony Gonsolin, Rookie Refractor. He played pretty good this year as well. We've got Luis Robert, Freshman Flash. I like saying Robert. I know it's Robert, but I always say Robert. We've got Prism Refractor, Austin Meadows. Um, considering it's the offseason, probably, yeah. Bichette rookie. Uh, Travis Demerit Refractor. Offseason's always the worst time to unload if you're going to, but Topps Chrome is the one you want to hold on to if you're going to hold. Jesus Lozardo, 85 insert. Plus, it's on card, so that, that definitely helps, too. Die cut, Mariana Rivera. We've got Mauricio Dubon, Rookie Refractor. Two packs left. We've got a negative refractor of Mike Soroka for the Braves. Pretty good player, in my opinion. Nice card there. Sean Murphy, Freshman Flash. And we'll finish this off with a Prism Refractor, Rogelio Armenteros. And base, but a pretty good box highlighted by this Kyle Lewis on card rookie auto. Thank you for the order, Matt. Great box turned uh, turned out to uh, to be a pretty good last one. For how long that one was sitting there, that, that, that box would have been marinating for a couple of months. What came in while I wasn't paying attention? There's Brian. All right, going to do a Leaf Autograph Mini Helmet and six spots left now in NT Baseball. Chairs being weird. All right. Leaf. All right. Good luck, man. See what we got. 
All right, our next live break of the night is for Brian doing a box 2020 Leaf autographed mini helmets. I'm um, just going to put this out there if anyone's watching this um, and interested in a box. I do have a full case available. Um, message me, email me, whatever you want to do. But if anyone's interested in the case, I actually do have a sealed case available of these. <laughs> Let's see what this first one is going to show us. Some big hitters possible in Leafs version. There we go. All right, and this is a Saints throwback helmet. This one is going to be Ricky Jackson. If you can get the auto there. There we go. Ricky Jackson signed Saints throwback mini helmet. So you can see there, that's how I knew who it was. This one is Beckett authenticated. Riddell signed mini helmet. And yep, there's the Beckett thing there on the back. All right, and that will do it. As always, thank you for the break. I remember getting a card of him earlier this year. And I super confused him with uh, Ricky Williams for some reason. Like I kept typing in Ricky Williams instead of Ricky Jackson. Like, why am I not finding this card anywhere? Only reason. <laughs> I can't remember that name, though, unfortunately. Another spot gone in NT, down to five left in that one. Five left in that break. Still got the baseball mixer up there as well. Gem mint that we're definitely trying to get uh, filled as quickly as possible. Hey, Josh. Good to see you, man.
to try and get this stuff moving. The usual. Still looking to get some stuff done here, 10.15 Eastern. See you, man. How's it going, man? Still taking orders, 20 after 10.
five in NT, nine in the mixer, nine in gym mint. Love to get these going and broken for you guys. Gonna do a last call for lives, guys. Hoping to get something else going here while I'm still up here and ready to break. Last call for lives. What else can we get in here while we're still on stream? And 25 last call
All right, guys. Have a good night, everybody. I'll be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. We'll hopefully get some stuff filled and some stuff broken for you guys and try to get a, uh, a good night going. Have a good night, everybody. See you tomorrow.